Hey, Carolina, I decided to do a video so that I could kind of show you exactly where you need to look for um, everything about the dystopian unit and the short story you are going to be writing. All right, so let me take us to Google Classroom. So you're going to find it starting about in week 14. So you're going to want to scroll down and click on the slides that talk about the characteristics of um, dystopian societies. All right, so what you're going to see in here are all of the characteristics. All right, so we've got nine characteristics. There are nine slides that you can read through that talk about what you'll find in a character or in a dystopian society and what you're going to find basically in all of the short stories that we read through this unit. So as we read them, I had you guys look and see if you found those nine elements in the, um, in the short stories you're reading. So we read, you'll go and see that in week 13, I had you guys read There Will Come a Soft Rain um, and answer questions about it. Um, there was a pretest about it as well. And then we did an agree disagree activity on um, dystopian elements, kind of talking about what you'd see in the stories. Um, then you were to read test by Theodore um, Thomas and then answer questions. And then um, on that Friday, I had you guys brainstorm some ideas about your story. And this is the one that really goes into what exactly you are going to be writing for your short story. So I would go and check this one out as well. Um, here are the slides for this one. All right, so here are all of the mentor texts that we've used. Here is the um, short story and the scoring rubric. There, are, This rubric is attached in a couple places. And then here are some um, starters. So if you're get, having trouble getting started, try one of these on. So this will kind of help you get in the mindset of, okay, here's how my story is going to start. But basically, you need to um, write a dystopian short story that's 250 to 500 words. So that's about a page to two pages, double spaced, with an original plot, dynamic characters, believable dialogue, and descriptive setting, which has one of the characteristics of a dystopian society. So you could say, ooh, my, my um, story is going to be about a group of characters that are struggling to survive. And then you can be like, all right, I'm going to pick out um, Maria was known for being wise as your first line. All right, so that's kind of some of the helpful hints. Um, you can use these links here, this plot video here to help you see how to structure your story. And then the rubric is linked once right here that's linked several times. And so you can see what I'm looking for as you go through this. All right, and then after um, week 14, I had you guys read a couple more stories all summer and a day. Um, and we talked about plot and premise. So this is kind of how your story should be structured. So I attached that video again, it's cute. You should watch it. It's cute. And then we talked about plot and premise. And so this is what um, should help you structure your story. So you start off your story by helping everyone know where it's set and who's in the story, kind of having your protagonist, the good guy, antagonist, and the bad guy. And then the rising action, all of the problems your character goes through to try to solve the problem. They solve it in some way at the climax and then things start to wrap up. That's how a story should kind of be put together. And then um, this is kind of how you get the premise in a world where blank, 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 in order to blank, all right? So situation, main character, action, and order results. So it could look like in a world where zombie, Zombies keep humans as slaves. 17-year-old Allison Montgomery has to free her parents from their zombie master in order to get them to a free zone and re reunite the family. That's a premise, all right? So that's what is going to happen in your story. That's the problem that your main character wants to solve, all right? Here's a couple of generators that will help you kind of come up with some of those ideas. <clears throat> so then, 
Um, after you've done that on Thursday, we did character names, all right? So here are some things about characters and their names. All right, so we talked about protagonist, we talked about antagonist, um, some of the characteristics of the protagonist often feels trapped and is struggling to escape. That would really fit in with um, trying to survive. So that would fit in with that element of a dystopian um, story or society. And so that's really, I'm only looking for you to have a couple characteristics of a dystopian society inside your story. So you might want to pick one of these. And then you're looking at your character and you're like, oh, questions the existence of social and political systems. Ooh, so I'm going to have the element of, ooh, which one was that? Um, restricted information, freedom of thought. They're like, oh my gosh, the government's trying to control me. You can have your story be about that. All right, so I think that kind of takes us to where we are. You're going to want to write it inside of um, this document right here. All right, so this is the final dystopian short story. The rubric again is right here, so you can read through that. And then if you want to um, put it into Book Creator, you sure can. The link is there. That is an honors option, though, so you do not have to do that. Um, Carolina, I hope this helps. Um, good luck. If you need anything, if you um, just reach out again. All right.